Hey, what up? It's New Age Ja, and welcome back. Um, I have my fan in the background, so you might hear that white noise a bit. Please don't mind it. On the other half, I was just having a conversation briefly and quickly with the divine, because I like to think that every act of mine is a conversation with God. So there's a couple of things that I want to like kind of instill within you. So if there is a mind altering habit that you'd like to achieve or a habit that you would like to achieve but requires mind alteration, mind programming, remember you just like the media seeks to program your mind, you have the ability to do so as well. So the biggest hack for me in particular, and I'm sharing it with you, is to listen to these audiobooks while resting, while going to sleep. So certain psycholog, it just it just depends on what it is that you're trying to instill. Whether it's sub, if you if it's something that you want to change within, though, if there is something that you would like to change in your subconscious mind, I would recommend listening to audiobooks in regards to what it is you're trying to alter while you sleep. Boom. On the other, uh, moving forward, curbing the excitement. Um, <laughs> getting so excited about doing something, getting so excited that you almost like trip up on yourself, you know, and you're just like so excited and your shoelaces are tied and you're just like bloop and then you end up not with a freaking nosebleed. So remembering to curb the excitement. So many changes are happening and we are beginning to feel, to feel the fruits of the labor. There is always an impending doom or an impending something that may be happening, but we have gotten so much stronger by maintaining our value in regards to being a cup and or a vessel for the Holy Divine Spirit and love. See, it's not an easy vibration to carry. And sometimes when at this particular moment, when the cup is so full and overwhelming, it's almost something that you want to shut off because you're not used to feeling so euphoric. You're not used to feeling so e e ecstatic. You're not used to feeling like all these like kinds of ways. It's almost like the money vibration when it's time to receive more monetary gains. A lot of the times our own spirit rejects us because the vibration is too high. And we're afraid because there's like a conservatism, a conservatism that, or a minimalism that has been instilled, which makes you capsize or to cap what it is that you think you need to use in order to conserve see what's happening is that like your spirit your solar plexus your heart center as i'm learning from the untethered soul in particular the heart center the closing and the shrinking of the mind body and spirit closing of these chakras these systems of empowerment and love when we close up these vibrations we are no longer becoming an open channel and so then we stunt our own growth through that Sometimes it seems like I cannot speak English. I have no idea why when English is my language and my first language and my only language is that's what I use primarily. <laughs> um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of reasons why there's like this weird thing happening, but this is not what this is about. So when you close up your solar plexus and your heart center, you're not allowing yourself to hold this vibratory space of more, of abundance, of God, of love, of even furthermore money. I didn't say God is money. Money is just a freedom. And a lot of us attribute it to actually fear, condemnation, being trapped. Like a lot of us attribute money to all of these things, which then repel us from the vibration of it when we really need to switch the way that we're perceiving these things any manifestations yes everyone is saying this it seems so easy but the reminder is here curb your enthusiasm learn to become a vessel that is continuously allowing the divine holy spirit to come in come through to heal to rebalance see a lot of the times you don't even know what the divine is going to do say and 
until you show up. Whatever. It's a part of the trusting process and opening up the vessel. Opening it up, keeping that solar plexus. Yellow, bright, white light at the center of your stomach. In between your rib cage, above your pelvic bone, your reproductive organs, all of that solar plexus. Filling that up with the yellow, white, clear, bright light that just transcends time and space in all directions. 360 degrees, growing, pulsating, growing, pulsating, growing, pulsating. And so we're literally enveloped and engulfed in our own yellow, white light, holding space, holding space, holding space for the divine. Your vibration scares others, you know. Makes others feel insecure and whatnot. But in the same token, you end up feeling it too. This is the air or the air of perfectionism. Perfecting, perfecting, right? Ooh, there's an uncertainty here. There's an imperfection, oh Lord. Mm. Sometimes I forget the gloriousness that is you. <laughs> Thank you, Heavenly Divine Father, for allowing me to be your servant. Ah, uh, number one. <laughs> Number two, I can't take it. Number three, please, forevermore. You already know. You already know. You already know, Heavenly Divine Father and Spirit, that I have the utmost fear and respect for you, although going against my own programming from the external world has the idea that personalization. No, 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 no. Is it personalization? Questioning of the divine is even a question. Like, no. No, if I'm falling for my own ego deeds, which is why we want to clear the solar plexus with white, yellow, gold light, empowering, clearing, cleansing, empowering, clearing, and cleansing, so that there is no doubt that you are behaving from a clear and optimal level and space, energetically. Mm hmm. And a lot of shit's gonna have to get the fuck out of the way and it's a little like, you know, it's not always comfortable, but whatever. All right, <laughs> let's pull some tarot. I also have my charms here, even though these bad boys are so loud, but I almost feel like the chimes are very healing. Like that sounding, that noise, very healing. <laughs> I'm so antsy, antsy and like jittery today. I don't know. I'm a little more sensitive, high end, or cleansed or cleared. I've been detoxing. And so, uh huh. Page of Swords. Okay, so Page of Swords is someone who's watching, especially this guy in particular. He has his glasses on and he's like, doo -doo -doo. but he has like a little halo over his head. So someone in your environment who's pretending to be innocent. Of, okay, innocent, probably giving you things, giving and taking. Six of Swords, this is like a peace offering of sorts. So this is someone also in your environment, um, younger or someone willing to learn from you or like take advice from you, who is a little like sneaky in its like opposition to you or to its approach to you, trying to like make amends or give you offer you something eight of swords okay saw something in here let's see if we find it <laughs> 
Okay, six of pentacles, seven of pentacles, okay? That's what we're looking at right now. Giving and taking, we're receiving something that is owed to us. The six of pentacles can also be like a windfall. A benefactor of sorts comes and gives to you and kind of sets the scales in balance. Someone perhaps paying a balance due or some energetically monetary balance due that's owed to you from a past predicament. Look at, look at, look 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 that can you stop uh, and it's coming back to you seven of pentacles you've earned it you've planted it you've um tended it you've been attentive you've been patient you've been waiting and then we have the six of swords that follows the six of pentacles so we have the page of swords six of pentacles page of swords six of pentacles six of wands so some type of peace treaty peace offering as the dove usually holds like an olive branch like this this is also positive movement through turmoil into safer and calmer lands that doesn't always mean a good time it can be an awkward transition seven of pentacles eight of swords underneath this page of swords so we have the page of swords underneath this eight of swords yes this is the hesitancy of this energy around you to come and make its way forward or an energy that wants to collaborate with you that wants to commune with you that wants to talk to you but doesn't want to make itself seen it doesn't want to make itself seen it, it is showing that it's coming in peace and then we have the ace of wands so we have the seven of pentacles, okay, eight of swords, seven of pentacles, ace of wands. So this is like a spark, an interest. I almost want to see this as like some type of like horniness. Perhaps this person has like a secret agenda of like horniness or they're <laughs> looking to like um, infiltrate your aura, infiltrate your arena. Um, this ace of wands is also like... This passionate quality, this fire ideal quality that can either ignite the flame of another or hmm, blow it out and make it go to waste. It's like a flicker of a light. It's like a, um, a lighter of sorts, a candle of sorts eventually the candle will burn out so what does this ace of wands i want to see more ace of wands and six of swords someone definitely is trying to come and make things easy and pay off the balance and the debt but the energy is uncomfortable so we have strength so this is leo energy solar energy solar plexus energy perhaps the best bet for you is to this is probably going to show up for you um, the, on the Aquarius full moon because we have Leo and then we have eight. And I believe the full moon is happening on the Lionsgate portal, eight, eight. And so this is also telling you to stay in your solar plexus chakra, as we mentioned prior to this, as well as staying in your Leo nine, Leo energy right because when you allow yourself to become a vessel a vessel that is able to hold like a container seven of pentacles is like waiting and allowing its treasures to be full patient holding space while things are growing multiplying and then we have this six of wands this is a helping hand i mean the six of pentacles this is a helping hand so when you are given this opportunity to hold such wealth valor um success enlightenment light clarity the more that you do this the more that you can become benevolent onto others so the more high, the more you can hold in regards to high vibrational energy entity nourishment hydration detoxing clearing intention prayer meditation vision the more that you can hold all of this beautiful space and energy, the more that the divine will bless you and the more that you will be able to become super fluid or super flowous onto others.
This is a new spark in destiny, a new spark in self. This is also the baton being handed over to Leo. As Leo, you have every right to rise and shine at this time. King of Pentacles, right? So King of Pentacles is a successful businessman. A bit more mature or a mature in business antics. This is someone who is well rehearsed well-versed, well-poised, well-spoken, strategic, logic, soft, welcoming, warm, a provider, a giver. And so who or what is this energy? Is it you or is it someone who's kind of watching on the sidelines, thinking about some stuff, you know? We don't see them just now. We don't, but they're going to pop up out of nowhere like, ah, here I am, bitch. <laughs> Wasn't it me you were looking for the whole time? Maybe. Let's get a closing card, please. <laughs> okay, lots going on here, but we have the Eight of Wands. And of course, I have to see the Five of Cups. So, oh, the moon, Six of Cups, fuck it, right? Might as well. We're gonna do like a finale here. Boom, 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 boom. So Eight of Wands, quick movement forward from the Five of Cups. This is disappointment, loss, sadness, depression, absence, despair moving getting messages that kind of catapult us out of this five of cups energy and then i saw the six of cups yes there's this olive branch energy and so we have the six of pentacles and the six of cups this is very libra libra oh six of pentacles six of swords six of cups six 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 this is very venusian according to Alyssa trahan i'm gonna say sharp um, this is the uber feminine eating on to yourself, but we're not, this is not what this is about. What this is about is someone or life is coming into be balanced and rectified and you don't even see it coming. You've been waiting for it all along and it's going to really hit. So you, ha you didn't see this kind of hiding in the background, in the mental plane, this page of swords kind of watching taking down information jotting may you be protected and blessed someone here who comes to either collect money or give some money or make some balance do proper six of swords this is peace energy this is rebalancing as well as yeah recommuting no because yeah right correct this is not a negative energy this is a positive energy this is something that sets the record straight and makes life so much easier six of swords six of cups this is something or someone that you know and this is something that you embody that is familiar to you and or like a deep memory of the past that comes full circle and allows you to feel home safe secure and fulfilled Seven of Pentacles, this isn't a, a lifetime investment or a long time investing. And so this is work put in. And then we have the Ace of Wands, which is like someone popping up on you or that spark finally being lit, that candle being lit, spending so much time clearing the vessel, healing the vessel, detoxing, aligning the vessel, and then all of a sudden you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting, and then the flicker and the light turns on and you are full of fire and you don't know what you're doing and you're tripping, you end up tripping on yourself. This is, what, this is the energy. But we have strength here. This is a vessel that is able to hold this, that is now time to hold this. It's Leo season. It's time to stand in your strength. She's strength. Blah, blah, blah. Stand in your light, stand in your, in who you are, right? Be that roar, be that leader, that entrepreneur. That's also the Lion's Gate portal, 8-8, eight, eight, and the Aquarius full moon, King of Pentacles. This is strategy, money, again. So this is, could be you or a secondary figure 
well there still happens to be a secondary figure there's a queen of wands so queen of wands that leo energy leo aries sagittarius at this point the queen of wands is now met with the king of pentacles and there's success breakthrough romance love marriage and everlasting bonding telecommunication and family rooted I don't know that went totally like left field interesting um let's pull the charm to close this out we're already at 20 minutes bad girl <sighs> look what fell out a crown a blue crown wow baby blue why is it not focusing baby blue Let's see what else oops just kind of get what falls over the rim here okay we have like a martini here <laughs> a nice like wine cooler sorts and then we have like this like decor this decorum here so this is like a new style a new look a new designer upgrade also incorporating designer into the wardrobe and into the area, into the arena, accepting the wealth and luxury as well as pattern and design. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly, pattern and design. This is a new level of wealth, okay. And then you have a white kitty, a nice, clean, pure white kitty cat. So this can be an incorporation of an animal spirit guide or an actual animal or a white cat soon to find its way to you. So yes, thank you for joining me today. I hope that the message is received well on your behalf. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay? Um, I will be back and I'll talk to you soon. Later. <laughs>